Hey, what's up everyone? Peace. Right now it's Sunday and I am studying some more chemistry. This video I want to make in particular because throughout all the other videos that I've been making, I guess it seems as if everything's flawless, you know what I mean? I definitely don't want to make it seem that, seem that way. For example, last Friday I was in lecture and the professor was going through something. I did not understand it at all. Didn't understand it at all. It was pressure. He was talking about something called pressure volume work. And I know, I know that if I spend time going over this, if I spend a couple of hours just trying to understand what this is, I'll get it. But I just don't want to make it seem like this pre-med journey is flawless. <laughs> it is not flawless. Last Friday after I got out of class, I got in class, class started, lecture started at 10 and it finished at 11.40. When it finished, we took a quiz. When we first got into class, we took a quiz over chapter five, which was going over gases. And I felt like I did pretty, I felt like I did really good on that quiz. I was studying the day before and I came in, I felt like I did good. Then he went over some chapter six material. Didn't understand it at all. Chapter six was this thermodynamics. And usually some of the things in thermodynamics, they're really easy to me, like going over enthalpy, you know, the, the negative, negative, negative heat on the reactant side means that the equation is exothermic and things like that, entropy. Those things I felt, oh, text message, reminder. Okay, those things, I understand them. But he was talking about pressure volume work. He was talking about internal energy. And these are all things I could, I could Google. I can go on YouTube, look them up. And the concepts, I, I guess I don't have the concept 100%. I may have the concept like 60, 70%, but not enough to do the problems that I'm required to do, the homework problems. And even the problems on the PowerPoint, you know what I mean? So it's Sunday right now and 12 o'clock noon. I'm about to go in on this studying. Like, I don't care how long it takes me to understand this concept. And it's funny because some people watching this video, they may understand this, oh, pressure volume work, that's easy. Internal energy, that's easy. You know, <laughs> right now to me, it's not. It is not, I don't understand at all. So I am just gonna go hard. And some one thing that I that has inspired me to do this was because when I woke up, internet's tripping for some reason. I don't know. So what happened is I ate breakfast, ate my breakfast right here, and because the internet wasn't working, I was watching this movie that's on my external hard drive right here that's connected to my laptop. Right, it, it's called, it's a Ben Carson movie, it's called Gifted Hands. And some of you guys probably watched it already, but the movie's called Gifted Hands, and I watched, the, I watched the, I watched what I left off of, because I started watching it a while back, and I came back on it just because I don't really watch movies that much. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but I, I just don't. But anyway, I had this movie on my external hard drive and I watched the rest of it. There's this one scene in the movie and I guess this was the scene where he was a pre-med also, like he was in college at a university and he was doing this, he was, he was struggling through chemistry. <laughs> he was struggling through chemistry and the reason I'm laughing is because I'm struggling through chemistry right now, like at this moment in time. So I kind of connected what I'm, you know what I mean? And he, he ended up passing the exam with the, one of the exams that he took with a 97. It's, it's what the movie portrayed, right? And just in that moment, it connected with me because I realized, wow, I'm struggling through this too. I'm going to spend time understanding. I'm going to spend however many hours I need to spend to understand this concept so I can get into med school. This is one of the things it takes, determination, hard work. And, and time, devoting time. And let's see, I, I guess I'll put a link to what the movie's called, but that definitely 
motivated me. And then after that, I watched some YouTube videos. I watched this one video. It's, it's, it's a recent video that was made three months ago. And it was him delivering a speech, I guess, in the White House. Because Obama was sitting right there and somebody else was sitting right there, right? You know, and he was delivering a speech and he was talking about a lot of things. And when I was just watching him, I was like, man, like I always hear Ben Carson, you know, I always hear how famous he is, but, and I looked up some things on him, but not too much. And from that point on, I was like, okay, this guy, he's an influential person. But now I was watching this video of his speech. I was even more influenced. Like this guy's a doctor and now he, in a way, he's turning into a politician kind of, not in a negative way, but in a different perspective, he's influencing more people. And he was talking about just hard work and motivation and where he came from, how he came from poverty and how he just had all these stressors putting him down and how he came from point A to point B. He started from the bottom and now he's there. You know what I mean? Started from the bottom, now we here. That, like, that song goes hard. I don't care what anyone says. Um, that's basically what he went through. And that's motivating me. So with that being said, that's, that's all I'm gonna say right now. I'm just gonna keep it pushing keep it pushing and I just want to show that again I just want to show that it's not all smiles and yay a here a there there are struggles everywhere and this just happens to be one of many that I don't show and from and other than that I'm gonna go you see got my laptop right here um notes got my powerpoint Got my Bible right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? For inspiration. And and that's it. That's it. That's what I'm gonna do. Here we go. Peace.